Hey guys, this is Jordi from Forward 3D Printing. So, there's a new function in Marlin called Linear Advance. And I want to explain really quick a little bit what it means. Now, most of you have heard on the forums, it's amazing, it helps your prints, but I want you to also understand how it actually works. Your axes move linearly, right? One straight line. They don't turn, they don't do fancy moves. They go from this point to this point in one direction or another. Even on a delta, your vectors are moving linearly in a line. But the motion of the extruder as it's laying the plastic, the plastic being laid down is not linear. Remember, it turns curves, it can go to one direction, then turn around the exact same direction, or you can draw a small curve. So the guys at Marlin figured out that motion is not linear, so there's constant pressures that cannot make a nice corner or a sharp edge because as it's going, you change directions linearly. However, the plastic is laying, it's trying to take a corner. So what you do is will be reduce the pressure that extruder is putting on the actual material as it's taking that corner, making it an average amount of pressure. That's what linear function is. Now, this is gonna be super easy to turn on and super easy to find out the value that works for your machine. This is also remember, uh, material enable. So basically what works for ABS might not work for PETG or PLA. You're going to have to set those values. However, here in the video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy way, how to calibrate that on the fly. Okay, so this one is very simple to turn on. First, I want you to go ahead and open your compile, wherever you put the Marlin file. Now, while I'm doing this, I want you to know we're going to actually turn on two different commands. We're going to turn on linear advance and we are going to turn on custom commands. And later on, when you set up actually the value for the linear advance, it will help you to do it easy. And you may be able to, if you want to do it, you can actually do it as a sprinting for you to be able to do it only in one test. So let's get started. Go ahead and find the configuration advance H tab. Click anywhere on the screen. Now, on your keyboard, Control F will bring your search tool, and you're going to find L I N underscore A D V. Press Enter, and you're going to find this line right here. This is going to turn on our linear advance. So go ahead and remove these two four slashes. Remember, that makes the code active. And notice that it already has a value. Remember, the K is a constant, so it's giving you a constant value. So this right here, we're going to leave like that. We're going to make a test print, and again, we're going to change the values later. So moving on. We're going to go click on the screen again. Control F. We're going to put the word custom. And click find. We're going to go to this line right here. Find custom user menus. Go ahead and turn that on. And at the bottom, you see it says the find user script return. Go ahead and turn also that on. That means that when you finish the command, make sure that you click on because you go back to the main screen. Go ahead and remove those two. And now, I don't usually use number four and number five. So we're going to use those two for this example. And number four, I want you to put. L I N A D A D V space fifty and you're gonna change the M code to M nine hundred capital M nine hundred space K fifty and then you can erase whatever is after that, which is G29 and G28 are G28 is humming and G29 is meshing or out of bed leveling. You can go ahead and erase those two. And then number five, I want you to write. And again, you don't have to write this specifically. I'm saying just so you know what the command is when you see it on the screen. L I N A D V, and I want you to put the number 100. Now, the reason we're doing again 100. It's because we already set up the first one to 75. So beneath one below that is 50, one above that is 100. Now, Marlin asks you to test this in increments of 25. So that's why we're using this value also. So for this one, M900, K100. 
100. And we need to go ahead and verify that and go ahead and push it to your machine. Now, this is what's going to appear under your custom command. It's going to be in your LCD. So this way you can use the LCD to test and do the test faster. Um, if you're doing the test on a, on a host, it will be also easier. If you're going to do it on SD, you're going to have to print many prints if you don't have an LCD. Anyways, I'll see you guys here in a second. So as I said, it was very simple to turn on and you also learn how to make your custom code, uh, custom commands. So I went ahead and printed two Marvins, one of it before I turn it on and one of them after I turn it on. I wanted to show you the results and see what you thought. You can see again, linear advance is very obvious which one was the one that had the linear advance on. My prints have always turned out fantastic, but now they turn out even better. So, I hope this helps. With that being said, don't forget everything that you do as working for the Lord, not for men. However, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.